How's it going, everybody? My name is Charles with Elise Swimming Pools, and we are here in West Miramar, and we have a new client of ours that we just finished picking up that they have an issue with their vacuum line. Um, their vacuum line has is not working whatsoever. The guy purchased a brand new uh, Dorado about a month before we started, and he asked me to come and check it out. And I have a feeling this vacuum line of his has a clog in it and that's why it's not working. There's barely no suction coming from the vacuum line whatsoever. And also too, look what's happened with this pump. So right now we have the cleaning line is directly open, the skimmer line is open, and we have our main drain closed. We have a lot of air coming in into the system here. And you will see when I close down the skimmer, So that's a good sign right there, or it's a bad sign that the skimmer, I mean, the vacuum line rather, is clogged completely. So we're gonna try to unclog this line. Hopefully we're able to get it done. I have two methods that I'm gonna show you how we attempt to do this. Right now, do is shut down your pool. And then now we are going to begin to open up these unions here and hopefully we have enough clay where I can induce right here. What we're gonna end up doing is since the pool vacuum line is sucking from there and it's coming around this way, more likely whatever's clogging that line, we're not gonna go the same way. We're gonna do it the opposite way. We're gonna try to push water to see if it's going to uh, dislodge itself and see what we can get out of that line going from inducing water pressure from this line pipe back to the exit port of the pool. Did not have enough uh, wiggle room obviously because this is all plumbed in and uh, you know sometimes you get some kind of wiggle room where you get enough space but the, even around here as you can tell it's coupling coupling inside street elbow street elbow street elbow um, there's no room and there's also cement in the back so not the most ideal uh, way of doing it but nevertheless we're inducing through the jandy valve here and closing off the other two uh, skimmer and main drain and leaving our cleaner line open. So we got the high pressure going in at this moment and as much as it possibly can going through our vacuum line over there. We tried doing a wet back pump and uh, we did get some little debris out. We did get this little toy right here that came out. But nevertheless, 
I'm gonna show you here how I know that there's debris stuck in this line. take one of our test plugs and hold back some of the pressure allow it to build up see this debris coming out there's definitely a clog going on We're just gonna keep on throwing all that debris. Gonna keep on doing the same method here. Allow it to build up. And everything just stuck in this line. And I know there's more than that. So we'll come back and hopefully everything will collect on the floor. We'll be able to show you everything that collected inside of the vacuum line. All right, so I've done it multiple, multiple times and look at all the debris that we got out of there. Got that big piece of a twig, hard twig at that. It was stuck in there, but I'm gonna keep on going with this. Now what I'm gonna do along with the pressure that's coming out, I'm gonna stick my wet vac in there and do a, a pressure plus a suction just to ensure that there's nothing else in the line.
and all we're getting is just straight water. No, no debris is coming out. Let that build up pressure. one last time and then we're going to go put everything back together. Go. We got everything back together again. We're running everything from the skimmer to trying to ensure that all of the gaskets were looped up properly. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the skimmer line right now. Open up that cleaner line. Look at that. We're gonna get this there. Same as the skimmer. We close the skimmer down. Got the same thing going on. So let's go check out the pool. It's raining on us. Let's feel the pool. I know you guys are not gonna be able to feel the, the suction coming from that line, but hopefully I can uh, demonstrate with my fingers by the hole and here it goes right here and this is not me pushing my fingers there's a strong pull so we have clearly unclogged this vacuum line well, I'm under the rain. I completed the job. If you have a clogged line and you are in our local area, South Broward, Miramar, Pember Pines, Miami Lakes, Davie, Cooper City, West and Plantation areas, I don't care, just give me a call. Wherever you're from, if you need a walkthrough about it, give me a call. Again, my name is Charles, at least swimming pools. I'm under the clouds, it's raining. Till the next time, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you learned a little, a little bit here on how to unclog a line. Ours was the vacuum line here. Please like and subscribe to my page. Like this. Put your comments down below. Signing off till the next time. Keep on swimming. If I could, let me make one recommendation. If you have a vacuum cleaner in your swimming pool and your pool is surrounded by lots of palm trees okay that's going to drop coconuts and you get a lot of large debris that falls in your swimming pool i highly recommend purchase yourself a inline vacuum basket it goes between the first section and the section section of holes right there that is going to eliminate anything that that vacuum cleaner picks up it's gonna eliminate it from going into your plumbing and clogging the plumbing like this one did here. So it makes 
save yourself hundreds and hundreds of dollars by having a drain line or vacuum line unclogged. Spend 100, 125, whatever the basket cost is gonna save you hundreds to maybe thousands down the road. That's my recommendation and tip to you.